Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, I want to take you to where it is snowing right now. This is Solitude, Utah, up there in the Wasatch, and they picked up about three inches so far. I do, I would just say that's bonus snow at this point. I think you could pick up another five or six inches tonight and uh, into the day tomorrow. So I really think this might just be bonus snow. Let me show you what this looks like on radar. You can see that wave coming up through uh, Salt Lake and the Wasatch, and, and it's rolling into Idaho as well. There's some rain, snow up in Washington and Oregon, and the actual area of low pressure is back in California hitting Shasta, and the whole thing is going to pivot down to the south and bring a wave of snow back to Tahoe tonight into tomorrow. All right, here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. Here are my... Uh, Headlines, bullet points. So the Sierra snow continues off and on into the 22nd, above 7,500 feet. Another snow comes on 124. And you can see the timeline for Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado right there. The Utah snow, light to moderate accumulations, moderate for uh, big and little Cottonwood Canyons, all the way into the morning of the 22nd. There's additional snow behind that as well. In Colorado, your next uh, chance of light snow is 121, 122. In the northeast, you've got a storm system coming afternoon, 123 into 126. Uh, it actually looks like temperatures could warm up during that period, during that storm, so we may end up having a rain-snow mix at the ski areas. All right, let me take you over to um, the forecast radar and satellite. So let me show you what this is going to look like. And that's the current state of affairs. So you can see that wave of snow moving through the Wasatch, headed for the Tetons, uh, rolling through Idaho, the main storm in back in California. And that increases the snowfall overnight into tomorrow for the Sierra. And what it's going to do is push out a southern track storm. You can see it happening right there that into the four corners. There's a, an area of low pressure. 21 and 22. There it is, 21 in the afternoon. There's the morning of the 22nd. Another storm hits California, and that one also spits out a southern track storm, 23, 24, with another wave of snow, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, the Tetons. And then the storm after that comes out of the Pacific Northwest, and that also brings a wave of snow down uh, through the Tetons, the Wasatch, and into Colorado. And there's 125 at the end of the day. All right, let's talk about the jet pattern. So this is the jet tomorrow, spits out a southern track low. You can almost see the, the little bit of a trough there through the four corners. Here's 124. This is the second area of low pressure that takes that southern track. You can see the dip in the jet exiting Colorado and New Mexico late on the 24th. And here's the final jet. Now, a couple of things I want to say about this. This, is, this, is, this represents a, a dome of high pressure, essentially, with the jet so amplified up in a canter. There's no cold air, and in fact, there's no precip here on the 29th. If what I'm seeing holds on the 29th through basically the end of the month into the first couple of days of uh, February, it's going to be very dry across the West if that holds. Okay, let's talk about snowfall. So the first period, the rest of today and tomorrow, you could pick up another six inches on top of what you've already got in, in the Wasatch, in big and little Cottonwood Canyons, and probably three, four, five inches in Park City, Snow Basin, Deer Valley. Colorado, one to four, less north, more south, coupled in the Tetons, and probably two to eight Sierra, above 7,500 feet. Um, so here's the second period. This is 122 through 124. Uh, probably four to eight inches in the Sierra above 7,500, two to four in the Wasatch, one to, another one to four in Colorado, and a few up in the Tetons. Final period, 125 to 129, potentially a little bigger snow here for the Wasatch. I'm thinking probably six to nine, six to ten for big and little Cottonwood Canyons, and two to four, two to five in Colorado. Um, otherwise, you got to go way up into B.C. to get more. Let's go to the northeast. Final stop. No, actually, you know what? Let's zoom into Colorado. Grand totals 120 through 129, I-70 corridor north, anywhere from four to six inches during that time period. One more stop further west in Colorado. West Elks down to the Collegiates, four to six, three to six inches somewhere in that zone. So, again, that's a grand total 120 through 129, the combination of a few different waves, essentially, a few different storm systems. In the northeast, 120 through 129, not looking at anything big. And the issue is, if it goes over to a mix, 123 through 126, then that's going to cut down on accumulations. So that's why some of these numbers have come down from this morning's update. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon mountain weather update. Uh, enjoy some of the new snow out there and take care.